Hello guys, welcome to Foot Manager 14, becoming legend. Wow, wow, wow. Last time you joined us, we beat Inverness and we look like we're starting to kick on and make some progress. And then we drew against Falkirk. Again, we should have won. Again, 59% possession away from home shows we are by far a better team, play much better football. Graziano Pele getting on a score sheet. Disappointing. One all. We then went to Gladbach. A great team. They've become a great team on this game. They beat us 1-0. We had a very good go at them. We just couldn't put away our chances. Uh, we defended very well. We managed to, they managed to slip in a penalty. Uh, we probably should have, could have got a point out of that. Disappointing. They've got a great team now. They've got this guy. And Uh they've, they've got such a good team. They've become a really good force on this. They are in real life at the moment. But in this game, they just keep kept on growing. Uh, I like Borussia Mönchengladbach. Munchen Gladback. Uh, they're a good team. They've got a good history. So I've, I've always been a fan of Borussia Mönchengladbach. Gladback. Um, but it's a shame we lost to them in the Euro Cup group stage because we, we have to either beat them or Ajax if we wanted to progress. We then went on to Livingston in the League Cup. Uh, play the reserves, a sort of backup team. Blair Murdoch started. He's not really playing very well. But I like the look of him. I'm, I'm trying to get him to grow. So I really like the look of him. He could end up a bit like Robin Van Persie or something like that. So I'm trying to develop him but he's not playing well um, gave him a chance uh, we won this game Graziano Pele scoring again he's playing very well um, he's, I don't think he's suited to playing up front by himself but he's doing a job in this league he's miles above the rest of the strikers in this league or well, most of them anyway um, but yeah if you sign him he ain't that great up front by himself he sort of needs someone to run onto it uh, and he doesn't really have that he can bring the ball down and hold it up, but he can't really take on the defenders on the floor. But that was a nice tidy win, doing well in the League Cup as per usual. Made the final my both two years I've been in it. Um, St Mirren, we then went on to play St Mirren away from home. We beat them 2-0. Robertspoon uh, playing very well indeed. Uh, getting on a score sheet again. robertspoon has been our best player so far this season. Um, two goals, two assists. Uh, and an average rate of 7.33. Pretty decent in the league, if I don't say so myself. Joe McKee as well, having a very good season, but he always does. Um, we won this one 2-0. Pretty average game, to be honest. St Mirren didn't really challenge us. They had this striker that I was really keen on signing called Joe Nuttle. Um, keep your eye on him because he's developing really, really well. I think he's probably going to get stunted now he's moved to Reading. Um, but I think he was at Man City initially. Yeah, Man City. Keep your eye on him because I've got a player called Baitiki who comes from Man City's youth team and he's developed really well as well. Um, so definitely keep your eye on these uh, youngsters from Man City, from these big clubs because they, they really grow. Like Baitiki, if you go back to the first, where I first signed him, he was a Pretty weak player. I didn't think anything would come of him, but he's become an amazing player. So really, keep it, keep your eye on them two Man City players. There's probably more out there. Let me know. I found in this game, the youngsters, the unknown players, can grow so quickly. Um, in previous football managers, you know, the big names grew quickly, and the little names sort of grew all right. Uh, but this time, in this game, I found you can get some really weird players this year and they shoot up and come out of nowhere. So let me know if that's happened to any of you in your saves. Like, and also comment, let me know, have you had any like average player turn into a star? Let me know who you've had. Because I've had some really weird players, like Greg Pascasio is not really meant to be that good, but he's shooting up as well. Let me know who you think. If you, th if you agree with me, let me know any players you've signed who have just become world class. Um... Mulder, we then went on to play Mulder in the Euro Cup group stage and we really had to beat them at home, they're the, the only team closest to us, um, they're pro we're the worst team in this group by probably a quite a long way, um, so we had to beat Mulder if we wanted to have a chance of coming second or even third, but we drew at home which was so disappointing, it really not, it not my motivation out of managing St Johnston, um, I talked about that at the end of the episode, we managed to save it with a Wobblespoon last minute goal, Graziano Pele missed the penalty, uh, as you can see, we dominated 57% to 43. So we, we were the better team. Probably should have won it. Disappointing to draw. We then went on to Aberdeen. Um, and another draw. Another boring draw. Uh, we dominated possession, but not making the most of our chance. Not even making chances, to be honest. Only seven shots. If you've got that much possession, you've got to be getting into double digits easily. Um, but by Tiki getting up and scoring the guys, he's, he's, he's playing very well. We then went on to Dundee United, who are our rivals 
Um, this was a good game. Um, but it glitched out. It completely glitched out and it pissed me off. Um, I couldn't change the tactics. Uh, it was it was frustrating. Um, basically, it said cancel pending changes. And I couldn't select off it. I couldn't cancel pending changes. And there were no changes pending. So I don't know why. I couldn't change my tactics. So I had half injured players on the pitch. I had battered players. And I couldn't change the tactics. So I was attacking all game. Even when I was 2 new up and... It showed to be a problem when I two one up sorry and it showed to be a problem when we went three two down. I couldn't defend the lead, which was pretty pretty de detrimental to uh, my tactic. My tactic's all about you know getting ahead and then just keeping the ball and making sure they can't score and get back into it. And as you can see here, Wotherspoon made a ni nice little run. Wotherspoon's been great this season. Little pass into Pele. Pele got fouled. No penalty given. Hendry picked it up. Played it into Osman. As you can see, we build up slowly from the back. We don't just boot it back up there. Um, McKee now finds a cheeky little ball to Pele. Pele doesn't really have that momentum. He doesn't really come to the ball. He doesn't seem that keen to get onto that end of that ball. But as you can see there, when he does get the ball and it's one-on-one, -on -one, he doesn't miss him. He's got great finishing, great composure. Um, and he's just slotted it past the keeper. Um, but like I said, he sort of needs someone up front with him. Might change the tactic. We'll see. Uh, Ray got his first goal for Dundee, and then they got another one here. Ryan Gould, still at Dundee United, is an absolute quality player, as you can see from that cross into Cotterill. Great goal, great team goal there for Dundee. But yet again, a game I felt I should have sh should have won. Could I? Should I? Really should have won. Because uh, the tactics set me down there. I think I would have won it if the tactics screened him, bugger itself up. Disappointing, to say the least. And I have come to a decision, and it might upset some of you guys. I am going to resign from St Johnston right now. I don't think there's anything more I can do with St Johnston. I'm just battling for third and second place now. Um, I probably could do much more with St Johnston, but that would be it's a long-term project, and it isn't a long-term project about St Johnston. Like I said, this save is about me as a manager, and I don't think it's the best choice for my manager to stay at St Johnston. Um, it would be a fun save. It probably would be a fun save staying there for a bit longer, trying to make them a dominant force in Scotland. Um, but in the short term, I can't do much better than this, really. Getting into Europe, and I'm losing the mo motivation because there's not really an end goal, is there? Um, I'm just trying to improve my reputation now, and I don't think there's much more I can do. So... I'm going to miss some of these players. It is sad. I'm going to miss Joe McKee. I'm going to miss Wolverspoon. I'm going to miss Pascasio. There's so many great youngsters here. Ian Watt. Hopefully I'll play with some of them again. But for now, I have resigned as St Johnston boss. Danny Lennon's favourite to get the job. Now I can focus on getting a new job. I want to manage in one of the top European leagues. You know, the Premier League, Serie A, Bundesliga, French League, Spanish League. Any one of them. And I want to build up a reputation. Because you've got more of a scope for improvement with them. With St. Johnson, I'm third in the league. You can't really do much better than that. I can join a team who's predicted to, you know, get relegated come 15th, 16th. You know, and I can start moving them up a lot every year to 12th, to 8th. And then start pushing for Europe. And then start pushing to win the league. Um, so I think it was the best thing to resign. A few jobs available there. I'm not sure about going to the Skybet Championship. Let me know what sort of club you think I should go to. But that was the end of my career with St Johnston. And now it's on to look for a new club. As I intend to become legend. Chapter 3 coming up. Blackpool was a fail. St Johnston was a great success. But now it's time to build on that. And uh, hopefully develop my manager. I'll see you later guys. Bye bye.